I love your work with Michelle and Degacello on the Nihil Novi album. What was it like working with her? Yeah, I'm curious oh too. Thank you, Paula, for that question. It was one of the most out of this world experiences that I think any artist could have. And when you talk about artists, she is the epitome of that. You know, she mm-hmm. is totally in tune with yeah. herself. Mm-hmm. Totally mm-hmm. in tune. And um, uh, the studio is her instrument. So I learned a lot about um, how to utilize the studio in a way that that it uh, really benefits uh, what you're trying to get out mm-hmm. of the music. Mm-hmm. Because it's one thing to write tunes or to have a con- concept of what the tune is, mm-hmm. but actually executing it. That's the whole other um, aspect that is that only comes with practice. You know, so she's done it a lot. She's been in the mm-hmm. game for a long time. Yeah. I'm yeah. I had no idea that she would say yes. I I had the audacity to ask through Charles Haynes. Mm. Um, you know, like one of the first uh performances with this version of Twilight that I have, it was at 2013's Winter Jazz Fest. And we had Gene Baylor singing Inevitable and stuff. And at the time I had Charles both Charles Haynes and Mark Kelly. Uh, bassist in in the band and you know they're they're affiliates Mm -hmm. of Michelle she happened to come down to the gig that was dope I was like wow she's here and and she's like I mean she's engaged she's Mm -hmm. like fully engaged Mm -hmm. um so I asked Charles after I was like man it would be dope if she could produce the next record that would be dope you know she was like okay I'll, I'll ask she actually She's accepted. Down. Very cool of her. Wow. So, ask and ye shall receive, <laughs> yo. In Very this cool. life, you really have to ask for what you want. Yeah. And whatever you mm-hmm. want can be yours. Yeah. Like that's really <laughs> inspiring. Like on some, mm-hmm. I know it sounds, you know, mm-hmm. super hippie of me, but that's some <laughs> real stuff. Yeah.